what's up guys this is sam sorry for the long break actually it's been three months since i posted the last video actually i'm planning to publish videos regularly on this channel so you guys encourage me by sharing this channel and my videos with your friends and family from now on you can ask me questions directly with the hashtag ask sam in the below comment section i'm going to make videos regularly to answer your doubts and all your queries if you are new to my channel consider subscribing and hit the bell button to get the instant notifications and i have already received a request from the guy shiva shiva hey shiva this video is for you and for the people who really want to learn jquery animations let's get started let's fire up our code editor and let me create a new file jquery animations.html and our html snippet let's have it and the title before we proceed with our lesson we need to include the jquery in our html file there are actually two ways to do it one is downloading the jquery file and place it in our machine and use it second one just copy paste the cdn link which is highly recommended now i'm going to include the jquery using the second method let's google jquery cdn and there you are let's follow this link here are the cdns which is available for us let's copy this cdn and paste it in our code now i'm creating a h1 tag with the text jquery animations demo and two buttons show hide i'm adding the on click event listener for these two buttons i'm going to call this method show and hide let's start with simple jquery functions now we need to write some javascript code so i'm opening up a script tag and quickly define these two methods show and hide function show and function hide what i really want is simply show and hide this h1 tag without any animation in order to achieve that we need to we need to access h1 element and call the jquery's show and hide methods let's do it dollar h1 this dollar sign helps us to get the element we want actually inside this code you can provide any css selector if you're not aware of this please google it and learn it now we have the h1 tag now we need to call the show method like this h1 dot show and in the same way hide method let's test this quickly okay it's already visible so hide and show all right now it's time to learn some jquery animations let's create three more buttons here fade in fade out and fade toggle now i'm going to write the jquery directly into this button on click dollar h1 dot fade in in the same way let's do it for others fade out fade toggle let's test this fading animations since the h1 is already visible we can't do fade in so let's try with fade out okay then fade in to be very frank i didn't see any fading animations so let's dig into it actually fading is working fine but the only problem is it's happening very fast let's fix that here we can write slow to make the animation slow otherwise we can even mention time duration let me go with the time duration 2000 which means two seconds let's give it a shot fade out hey, 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 one second we miss this guy right this guy is super cool let's explore now i'm clicking on it it's amazing right it's fading in when h1 is hidden and it's fading out when h1 is visible basically it's taking care of toggle all right three more buttons for more animations slide up slide down slide toggle let's write the jquery also on click so all we need to do is slide up slide down and finally slide toggle i think i can test this without any explanation slide up fine slide down good and slide toggle one more time that's really great finally we're going to create some custom animations using jquery 
let me create a button animate and let me add on click event listener on click equal to animate element now we need to define this method in javascript animate element here we are going to use jquery's animate method actually you can do anything literally anything with this method all you need to do all you need all you need to know is css properties and some creativity let's try something funny dollar h1 as usual select the element and let's call the animate method it requires json parameter in this param we need to send css properties with with, with little modification say for example if the css property is font iphone size then we should write it like this font capital s iz basically uh, convert the snail case into the camel case all you programmers know it okay let's start with the animation with font size and opacity font size font size as 50 pixel opacity as 0 0.3 let's test it quickly all right that's working fine let's try moving this element from left to right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set margin left uh, to 500 pixel let's give it a shot that's it so apply your creativity and come up with the beautiful jquery animations there are a lot more to learn i wish you happy learning hope you enjoyed this video lesson don't forget to hit the like button take care bye bye